Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest updates on Samsung's One UI 7 beta. This beta release has brought some exciting new features to the table, but it's not without its quirks. So, let's explore what's new, what's great, and what still needs some work. Stick around for all the details. Samsung's One UI 7 beta is here, and it's already turning heads with some exciting additions. However, as with any beta, it comes with its share of bugs. One standout issue that has caught user attention is a strange bug in the lock screen's blur engine. While the overall performance of this first public beta is impressive, this bug is something Samsung will need to fix in the next update. And knowing Samsung's history, they're likely to address it soon. Tech enthusiasts and fans of Samsung's One UI might already be familiar with the name Ice Universe. This well-known tipster has been closely involved in helping Samsung refine One UI 7. Recently, he shared a screenshot that highlights this blur engine issue. The lock screen now features the sleek new now bar and stylish widgets, which some say remind them of Apple's iOS 18. But there's a catch. Samsung seems to have missed optimizing the blur effects for lock screen notifications. In the screenshot shared by Ice Universe, the notification overlay on the lock screen looks almost transparent. It resembles a whitish card, similar to the primary notifications window, but it's missing the proper blur effect. This awkward transparency causes notifications to blend into the wallpaper, making it visually unappealing. Ice Universe didn't stop there. He also posted a video on YouTube and shared his thoughts on X, formerly Twitter. According to him, the app opening animation in the One UI 7 beta isn't quite up to par. Here's what he said. The current beta, the XKZ version, feels stiff and lifeless. The icon turns into a right angle and spreads the page, which looks disappointing. During internal testing, there was a better version, the XKN version. This version featured a beautifully smooth animation with a deceleration effect that made it feel more fluid and natural, much like iOS's animations. Unfortunately, Samsung chose not to use the XKN animation in this beta release, which Ice Universe finds disappointing. However, he encourages users to provide feedback to Samsung, urging them to adopt the XKN animation style. Here's the silver lining. This issue is expected to be fixed in the second beta firmware. Samsung has a strong track record of resolving bugs quickly, so there's reason to be optimistic. Now, Let's talk about the other exciting features in One UI 7. A hands-on video from Ice Universe has given us a closer look at the redesigned animations, lock screen, and overall UI updates. The quick panel remains accessible from the lock screen, with a revamped media player that boasts stunning visuals and refined UI elements. The now bar, located at the bottom of the lock screen, offers smooth, fluid animations. When tapped, its pill-shaped icon expands into a widget card, revealing toggles and related options. Tapping it again transitions it back into the pill shape seamlessly, enhancing the user experience significantly. The blur control has seen noticeable improvements, making elements on the lock screen more visible while maintaining a refined look. Lock screen shortcuts now feature a modern circular overlay with subtle blur effects, giving them a polished aesthetic. While Apple's iOS might still have a slight edge in design, Samsung's One UI 7 introduces some of the most significant changes we've seen in its software to date. Finally, the status bar has been updated with a new battery icon and refreshed UI components. The lock screen clock design may now also offer dynamic resizing, adapting seamlessly to the app or service in use. So, what do you think about these updates in Samsung's One UI 7 beta? Are you excited about the new features, or do you think there's room for improvement? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech updates. Also, make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.